we've spoken before in we South have. Africa we as have. well, so it's great yes. to speak in person. And so let me take the liberty of also asking a question I ask every South African who's sure. here. How on earth are you dealing with the heat? I feel like I'm dying every <laughs> single day. I'm surprised I have not died, right. <laughs> but I'm sure death is imminent. <laughs> but it's great to be here nonetheless, especially because of the tagline specifically that South Africa is riding on, Think South Africa, Think Opportunity. This kind of program, help us place it in the context of that kind of objective. Sure, absolutely. So, and I think what will be important to give you even better context is for me to uh, give you an overview of the recent economic impact study that we've just done. Right. And what it does is detail both the direct and indirect um, induced economic impact to the economy. And where in 2019, 2020, we were sitting at about 7.2 billion which looks at all of the productions, whether they be local or international, everything to do with the entire value chain of the film industry. After COVID, or because of COVID, because we're still within COVID, we're sitting at 2.9 billion. So that's a major drop because it speaks to the disruptions that have happened. And so opportunities like this enable the NFEF, as we do everywhere in the world that we go, is look out for opportunities that exist, right? And how do we do that? We sell ourselves and the film commissions back home. We have Westgro in the Western Cape. We have the KZN Film Commission, the Gauteng Film Commission, and we work with the ECDC in the Eastern Cape where they sell locations, right? And we assist in doing the job of saying, come to South Africa, we have the best locations, mm -hmm. we have a favorable exchange rate, we have immensely experienced crews, and I mean, I think you are also well aware of the number of international productions that have shot in SA. So those are the opportunities that we want them to think about, be aware of, and choose SA as their next location destination. Yeah, and with that, how do you reckon we match against I guess some of our competitors on the global stage, for lack of a better term. Um, for instance, here we're shooting at the South African Pavilion. There's always some kind of activity taking place. I imagine a lot of people are comparing uh, mildly what South Africa has to offer as far as the display outside is concerned. But when it comes to the film industry, where do you reckon we stand? We are shoulder to shoulder with the best of the world. Mm. I mean, the fact that the, the Cape Town Studios service a lot of international productions nice. tells you everything that you need to know you know we are trusted um, to be a valued partner on the ground um, and I think the Cape Town studios have really put South Africa on the map in saying all you need to do is come here and we will assemble the crews on your behalf so absolutely as far as talent knowledge and skills is concerned we are right up there right and I think then what you need to see is from the stories translating as well right. in their ability to travel the world over. And I think we are seeing some successes. I think if you look at the content that is being consumed on Netflix, for instance, and where it stands in the world rankings, I think that's saying South African productions are, you know, on par, if not even better sometimes, with what the rest of the world has to offer. What are you most excited about what may come out of our involvement at this expo? I mean, already, I think just before coming to this interview, the meeting that I had um, with the local animation academy, we are definitely going to partner on a gaming bursary that we can give back home to student, a student who's nice. interested in gaming. And I think, you know, this would be a start of a long-term partnership. And of course, our principals, our shareholder, the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, um, is always on the lookout for partnerships at a treaty level because we have about 10 different treaties with 10 different countries and so if the UAE can be a part of those you know treaties even better because then we can partner on, official, on an official basis but definitely had great meetings and I'm excited about how we can expand gaming in South Africa. The spirit of optimism continues. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you very we much. We do for appreciate you yes. joining us at the Dubai desk. We remember that television and film in our country has a great resonance and it's great to see that in some respects there are opportunities for it to bounce back from the economic fallout of things like the COVID-19 pandemic. We'll continue bringing you these stories live here from the Dubai desk here in Dubai.